is up guys hello 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 nixon hello canuck welcome back to another episode of fcn chats i'm so excited today honestly this is about to be a banger of an episode hello jack hello sam i hope everyone is having a wonderful valentine's day if you don't have a valentine well here is your here's your beautiful valentine I, I love each and every one of you but guys today's show is about to be an absolute banger because our guest today is a previous pro athlete now a pro gamer i mean never before been seen and so i'm excited to talk to him i'm excited to play the game with him and uh, i hope you guys are excited as well so are we ready to uh maybe introduce our first guest of the day <laughs> all right guys so this guy just just so you guys know i know i know we announced it on social media for those of you that are first coming in this guy is a previous mls player for the vancouver whitecaps and the canadian national team he's played all over the world in addition to that he's the current E-MLS player for the Vancouver Whitecaps and the first formal MLS player to ever play in MLS. So that is the first actual football player to ever play on the virtual EMLS stage. Let's all welcome in the wonderful to St. Ricketts, aka 87. Let's get him on here really quickly. All right, let's get you on the screen here. Perfect. All right, and there you go. Everyone say hello to the Saint aka the 87 which i will have to ask you about that name in a bit but um i appreciate the gamer tag <laughs> and all of that thank you so much for coming on the show today i'm excited to have you because you bring a very different perspective because you are now seeing both worlds both on the irl pitch and the virtual pitch but let's first talk about your accolades because you've been playing football for a very very long time and um you retired last year in january how is retirement going i guess we should ask first it's been great. You know, the question I keep getting asked is, do you miss football? Do you miss playing? And as of right now, no, you know, because I don't miss feeling injured all the time. And, you know, towards the end, your knees start to hurt a bit. And you see all these young guys running around buzzing. You're just like, I, I can't do it no more. Can't do it no more. So um, transition's been good. Um, I'll give you a little bit of backstory. So during my playing career, um, I was in a dual role for the last two years where I was fulfilling my soccer obligations, but I was working in the office um, out of the community department, connecting the first team better with the community and, um, you know, just that engagement stuff. So um, when I retired, the transition was smooth. Um, I also finished my schooling during that time, got my master's. Um, so I, I was prepared for the transition. No, that's cool because I do feel like with professional athletes, there's often come, there often comes a time where they're like, all right, I'm not going to be playing anymore. What is next? And I feel like you've you've thought about that ahead of time and you've prepared yourself for when that day finally came. And it seems like you're doing really, really well because you also work for the first team um, staff as well with Vancouver, right? Yeah, so I transitioned straight into the front office. So when I was in that dual role, I was working out of the community department. And now um, when I, after I retired, my role is liaison of club and player engagement. So just connecting the players better with the market, um, just anything the players need in terms of getting accustomed to uh, Vancouver, you know, MLS, the players, the foreign players that come here, um, and then have my toes dipped in and partnerships, marketing, ticketing. So I'm fully integrated on the business side of sports here at Vancouver. So it's been cool. It's been cool. And, uh, you know, it's my new passion now. Nice. Plus gaming. That's also Plus a gaming. brand new passion yeah. as well. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm excited to see you play this weekend. If you guys did not know, EMLS League Series 1 does start this weekend. So all the players will be competing from their home setups in whatever, um, for whatever team that they will be playing with. And you will obviously be, be playing with Vancouver. And can you give us a little insight as to how you're prepping for this weekend? Where are you going to be playing? Like, what are the overall vibes going into EMLS this weekend? You know, I don't know what to expect. You know, I look at the schedule. I look at all the names and I don't know much about these guys. I know they're all pros, of course. I know they're all good players. You know, um, I have a group of friends uh, in a WhatsApp group. There's like eight guys we play. They play religiously. So they've been training me the last like two, three months. I've been getting my reps against them. Um, they've been trying to get me prepared, but I don't know what to expect. So I'm going to actually lean on you to give me some information on these guys and let me know what I'm in for. But my setup is going to be pretty cool. I'm playing out of the first team locker room. Um, Very cool. So they're away uh, in Monterey, and then they're heading to Palm Springs for preseason, the last little bit of preseason. So I'm going to make a little makeshift set up there in the locker room, bring my monitor, bring my PlayStation, and and that's where it's going down. Nice. No, that's, that is really, really cool. Um, 
working backwards a bit, I do want to talk about your time with the Canadian national team because you had so many caps with them. Can you tell me best moment with that team and why? Wow. So many. Um, I would say my best moment wearing the Maple Leaf jersey was, I think it was my second, my second cap for the national team. Uh, my first one was in Greece. Um, and then second one was in Toronto. Yeah, against Ecuador. And it was my first time playing with the, you know, first national team on home soil in front of my friends, family. They were all in attendance. Um, and I scored the tying goal against Ecuador in my second cap. And it was like, elation I, I've never felt so good I jumped out of the stadium for my celebration um yeah that's my best moment we're in the we're in the Canadian jersey do you miss it uh national team I do miss it only because there's so much pride and honor that goes into playing for your country you know when you step on that pitch money doesn't matter you know it's all about results and making your country proud so that feeling is hard to replicate uh but yeah, I do miss playing for the national team, but I still play a role within the national team organization. I'm close to the players. So, you know, it's kind of filling that void a bit. Nice. Cause I know that the Canadian national team has make, made major strides in oh, terms yeah. of performance and how they've done throughout the past couple of years. And so it's cool to see the growth within that team and see them finally get to some places that I think that they've been deserving for quite a while. Yeah. The world cup was huge, you know, um, up till, the 2022 in Qatar, Canada never made a World Cup since 1986. So it was a long time coming, you know, a lot of work, a lot of players, you know, paving the path, you know, getting to the point where they were in Qatar. And then it was, I was there in Qatar. It was amazing seeing them first match against Belgium and then Croatia, Morocco, and just seeing the world kind of fall in love with their, their effort. And, you know, the, the desire they showed on the pitch, it was, it was beautiful. And, you know, what a tournament it was. Yeah, I think they were one of those dark horse teams that a lot of other nations outside of Canada were rooting for them because they weren't seen in the World Cup in a lot of people's almost lifetimes. Yeah. And it's just one of those teams you're like, yeah, I want them to win. I mean, outside of my own country, like they're a very likable team. So it was cool to see them finally get there again and do decently well. Although I'm Croatian. And so once I saw that they were in <laughs> my Croatia group, I was like, uh oh. But no, it was cool to see their World Cup journey for sure. Um, kind of along those lines, I know that you previously played with Toronto and you have a championship with them. Can you tell me a, a little bit about that? I know that you played with Vancouver afterwards, but yeah. we yeah. have to talk about the ring. We have to talk about how amazing that was yeah, winning back in 2017. It. Yeah, you have to talk about it. You know, I've been restraining myself from talking about it. You know, I'm around Whitecaps employees and players and stuff, and I am a Whitecap through and through now, but you know, it is my history and, um, you know, it was one of the best moments of my career. Uh, the 2017 season, uh, the year before we made it to the finals, lost to Seattle in the finals. They didn't have one shot on target. Keep in mind, we lost in penalties. They didn't have one shot on target for 90 minutes. So insane, insane, you know, just a terrible way to lose. But then that off season, you know, guys were motivated. They're like, you know, we're going to come back and, and show the league next year. And that's what we did. In 2017, we won the Supporter Shield. We won the Canadian Championship. Um, we got the record for most points at that at that time. It was 69 points, and then we got to lift uh, the MLS Cup. And what a moment that was! Not only for the team, but for the city, who was longing for some type of hardware. Hardware. I also feel like for Canada as a whole, because a lot of the times once there's only one Canadian team left in MLS, they all kind of just band together and root for that one Canadian team to win it all. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe there were some Vancouver people being like, all right, the only Canada team left, we want them to win. So maybe you guys bonded over that, but I'm not sure. The rivalry might be too strong there. <laughs> yeah, the rivalries are strong. And I remember I posted something on Instagram after the championship and I put for Canada. And I got so much abuse from the Montreal fans and the Vancouver fans. They're like, we don't want it. We don't want your for Canada shit. So yeah, there's a definitely a rivalry between the three teams and yeah, that even exists now with between Whitecaps and uh, TFC. Do you think that that rivalry rivalry will translate over to MLS? Um, <laughs> I mean, to have a rivalry, you have to be like one team has to win, one, one team, team has, has to lose, lose. It has to be a back, back and forth battle. battle. I'm, I'm not sure, sure what the battle will be like, like with their MLS player. player. I'm, I'm not sure, sure who it is, who it is even. even. But, but I, I, it's, it's going to start. It's going to start now. It's going to start with me. Yeah. 
<laughs> there we go. I love it. All right. So talking more about EMLS because I'm excited for you. You're the first formal MLS player to be competing as an EMLS player. So how does it feel to be the first? Is that a bit of pressure? Um, pre I wouldn't say pressure. I'd feel more pressure if there was like a long history of success with ex players or current players coming into the tournament and, you know, being successful, winning games and, you know, showing well. So no pressure, really. I'm coming in with uh, open mind. I'm coming in to see what it's about and, you know, maybe um, bring some engagement to the space, you know, maybe get some current pro players involved, get some ex players involved, but I'm excited to see the competition and see the difference in level. Cause I play like, you know, casually you know i'm just like a regular bystander i love my video games but i'm not like a pro 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 i mean technically i am now but i'm not a pro so i want to see the difference in level from these guys to me and also show the world the difference in level too because sometimes you watch these guys and you think yeah i can do that i can beat these guys but the reality is it's not as easy as it looks so we'll see yeah. we'll see um do you think that it'll start a wave from more actual pros coming in and wanting to enter into the gaming space? Do you think that this will be kind of like the igniting of that sort of thing? I hope so. I mean, just from the sentiment of guys who've reached out to me, they're like, how did you get this opportunity? How did you get in the league? You know, how can I get in the league? You know, can we set up our own little individual tournament? And yeah, I mean, you know, soccer players, athletes they're gamers you know they have a lot of free time you know in between traveling on the road in hotels gaming is a big part of the athlete's life so i think there could be a little div two maybe subdivision maybe like a pro circuit maybe the winner plays in this competition i see i see something there no. i like that i yeah. like like a, a separate division as well so yeah. that that'll be so competitive too because i'm sure that a lot of you have played offline too because that's oh. what a lot of pro players do in their free time is, is play fc play fifa mm -hmm. and so i'm sure there's already rivalries that exist within the space that you could bring into an official competition so i like that sure. so email us if you're watching that this is this is our idea let's let's do it now i'm your guy <laughs> i'll make it happen <laughs> let's do it um so question for you um you have a specific way of playing IRL on the pitch. Are you going to play FC in a similar way? Because I know that you're known for your speed, that sort of thing. Do you think that your IRL traits on the field translate well into the game? Uh, unfortunately, no. I don't think so. I mean, my understanding of the game has translated well. You know, just knowing the right players to press with, you know, formations, you know, just basically staying compact, which is going to be my biggest thing this tournament is staying compact protecting that goal, absorbing, 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 and maybe catching them on the counterattack. But uh, it's not really translating in terms of individual skills. You know, I always pick the fastest players. You know, I have, I'm drawn to them, of course. You know, I put the Hunter Ken style on them, making sure they get that extra boost to speed. But um, I don't think it's translating yet, though. But we'll see. We'll see. All right. In time, I do feel like your knowledge of actual football will help you in the long run, no matter what. It's better than anyone coming into this game not ever playing soccer before. So I think I think it'll be good for you. <laughs> That's just my own opinion, but <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. So next segment, we're gonna do a little bit of a this or that. So okay. it'll be quick fire questions like spaghetti, lasagna, you choose an answer, quick little response if you wanna like fight for your answer, and then we'll go through about five of them. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Let's go. All right, perfect. So first one I got for you. Win a Champions League with your club. Or win a World Cup with your nation? That's a World Cup. Like, this tournament, nothing compares to it. Like, when it comes in 2026 and people feel it, there's only one answer for this. Your country winning the World Cup. No question. All right. I, uh, I actually posted that question on Twitter a couple days ago, and it's very split. Like, some people are very club club focused. I think it also depends on which country you're in. Sure. And how much like national pride you have for your national team, but it is a it's a thought provoking question. Um, but I, I respect I respect it also, the nation. It also choice. depends on which club too, like because if you're talking about if you're a Tottenham fan, like <laughs> you know they don't win much. So true, true. Do you support a prem team? No, I okay. don't. I don't. You could always be a Man City fan if you want. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take you they're in. Appealing. They're appealing. <laughs> All right, next one. Um, and this is FC specific, so not IRL. Okay. Mia Ham or R9? Um, I have not played with either of them, but Mia Ham, I mean, she's she's a legend. How many goals she scored? 
I mean, I have to go with R9. He's just iconic. Iconic. Not saying Mia Hamm isn't, but R9 is like R9 football, you know? I mean, he is the most expensive item in the game, so it makes sense that he is probably one of the best. Yeah. (laughs) All right, next one, and this is also specific to FC. Okay. Um, Formations, 4-3-2-1 or 4-4-2? 4-4-2. I'm a classic guy, you know? I like to know I have my block of four, have my two strikers doing the work up top, have my wingers staying wide, you know, maybe get into the end line. 4-4-2. All right. Five-star skills or five-star weak foot? Uh... Five star weak foot, just because I don't have that many skills in my locker yet, you know, um, I'm trying to practice them, you know, trying to incorporate them, but uh, five star weak foot. All right. And then Messi or CR7? Messi. Easy no. enough. Easy enough. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is in terms of when you played. So high socks or low socks. I feel like the world is very split on this one. Yeah, I feel like the new generation, like, they're trying to be cool. You know, they're trying to, like, do something different with the low socks down to your ankles. I know it's not comfortable. I tried it. I was always high socks over the knees where it looks like I'm wearing full tights. So high socks. The new the new gens can stay with their low socks. <laughs> All right, last one for you. Plays, play under Jose Mourinho or play under Pep Guardiola? Yeah, I'm a Barcelona fan. You know, I remember Barcelona... Dino, Xavi, Iniesta, Puyo, Messi, Henri. Um, yeah, Pep, genius. Correct answer. <laughs> you like All one. right. Um, no, you did fantastic on that one. Um, okay, so everyone in the chat, just so you guys know how this is going to work. Next up, we are going to see his official EMLS squad. So we're going to send over a share play here shortly. We are also going to be playing two co-op games, and then eventually we'll get to go against each other, which I'm probably most excited for. I really want to see how he's playing so we can, you know, see how he's going to be doing this weekend. And then um, if you guys have questions, save them for the end of the stream because I will be taking community questions. I have about like six or seven from Instagram and Twitter that we've had previously. But yeah, if you guys have burning questions for our guy here, make sure you save them for the end of the stream and we'll be able to get to them then. But um, all right, let's get into your squad. So if you want to send over that share play so we can right. totally see your team. Load I'm excited to see right it. Now. <laughs> I think I did well with my team. You know, I had a lot of people helping me out, crunching numbers. We had, uh, we're working through the nights, you know, um, working overtime, putting a lot of work to make this team. All right. I respect yeah. it. So I know that there's certain restrictions when it comes. It's like four MLS players, you need one hero or icon um was it difficult to try to decide on which mls players to use because we have a decent amount of to choose from as well yeah it, it was difficult at first especially when um before they adjusted the budget thing because before those players would cost money but then you know the inflation and the budget amount so eventually all mls players all mls icons became free and then it just opened the door to all the possibilities so i kind of i kind of enjoyed it but you know I have one special guy on my team, and I could not leave him out, and I'll show you shortly who that is. All right. Feel free to send over the share play whenever you are ready. Um, but, yeah, it's 8 million budget, I believe, right? Yeah, 8 million budget. Share play has been sent. All right. All right. Let's take a little look-see at your team. I was on the draft page looking at a bunch of different players, and there's actually some variety between the teams, which I like. Because I do feel like in other competitions, I don't know if you've tuned into any of the FC Pro events, but a lot of the teams are very similar, especially when you have some of the lower budget items. Like you get a lot of the strikers are the same. You always have yeah. Mbappe and that sort of thing. But I was looking at the MLS one and a lot of people have different, different squads. And so I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's credit just to the league, you know, and the type of players that come through, especially like towards the end of their career. There's so many big names that came through the league, like Pirlo, you know, Ashley Cole, Beckham, you know, David Villa, who's not in the game for some reason, not sure why. Um, Henri, Messi, like, there's some big players that come to MLS, so I guess that opened the door and for a variety and a lot of choices. So here's my team. All right. Okay. <coughs> Apologies. Um, This is decent. I Isn't actually it? really, really like it. I think so, too. So who's going to be scoring all of the goals, you think? 
Well, Messi, I, I mean, Messi, of course, team of the year, Messi is, he, yep. he was so elusive. I know we were talking about it earlier. There was that little period when he was getting packed, but I never got him. I've never played with Same. him. Um, so, but I do, he is on my regular ultimate team, but he's just a basic gold. So that's not really great. But yeah, I'm expecting Messi to get these goals. I'm expecting Henri, who was my favorite player growing up. I had to have him in there. Um, and then, you know, hopefully Jordan Morris can chip in there. You know, I didn't want to put a Seattle guy in there because, you know, the rivalry, the Cascadia rivalry between Vancouver, Seattle, Portman. I didn't want to put a Seattle guy in there. But he is good. He is a good card. He's fast. He has good work rate, so... I think that you're actually one of the only players with Jordan Morris, so we'll see if he can work some magic for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's a great card. He's a, he's a very, very good item. Yes, so. he is a decent card. But, um, what else we got? Yeah, so that's my front line there, which nice. I'm, I'm happy with. I'm happy with. I respect it. I like the Rodri choice. I think that's super good. I think also almost every single player has Bui Pui. So that's a, yeah. that's a staple in a lot of the Emless squads. Kaka is interesting too. I don't think we've seen too many of him, but like that card right there is is very good. Yeah, it's a good card, and I on my regular team I have Zidane in that role, so I think he can kind of replicate what Zidane does on the pitch, on the virtual pitch. But Rodri was like, he had to be in there. I know I'm going to be defending for my life. I know I'm going to need an anchor in that midfield. So I'm hoping Rodri and uh, Ricky Pew can uh, you know do the work in there while Kaka you know kind of pulls the strings in the attacking play. So. I had a little bit of thought process to it, but it's definitely a defensive-minded squad. No, your defense is stacked. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, that Virgil van Dyke is, is going to be doing everything. Uh, Lothar Mateus is fantastic. Fun story about Lothar Mateus. I actually played a game of football against him, and he dribbled straight through me. And so, <laughs> IRL. And this this was like this was like two years ago, almost. Yeah, I almost fell over. Um, great guy, fantastic guy. But I love that choice on your team. Also love. I don't know how to say her name properly. Ona Bat. You know what I mean? Uh, she's really good. Quite possibly one of the best fullbacks in the game. So love that choice. Yeah, I mean, Barcelona. You know, and she has. Look at her stats. You know, ninety five pace, ninety dribbling, ninety one defense. Like. And I know a lot of a lot of players, they have the tactic of like going down the wing, going to the end line and, you know, then pass, pass across. So like I'm hoping she can, you know, nullify that a bit. But I definitely needed a strong, strong uh, fullbacks. And and then Wagner on the other side, who is a who's a great MLS player. And he's, it's actually a great card as well. So I What's think I'm pace? covered there for my fullbacks. Okay. Yeah, 86 pace is not too bad. Plus with, with a shadow too. Yeah, yeah that's decent. You're, you're yeah. set. <laughs> I, what do you think about check 88 check in goal because at first i'm like i need the best goalie in the game i mean this guy's gonna be taking shots after shots after shots so i need the best goalie in the game but then i ended up with check 88 check so i'm like ah, did i yeah i'll be honest i don't think that goalkeepers in this game are very good in general so okay. i don't think you need to splurge all your coins on a goalkeeper i've been using schmeichel for the whole year oh, cool. um like base schmeichel because i did the sbc and so I'm, like, fine with him. I'm not going to be buying, like, a crazy version of anything. Um, yeah. I just don't think that there's that big of a difference. So I think that check will be fine. Okay. And now to the bench. Yes, let's see. My it. guy, Ryan Gold. I had to incorporate him into my squad somewhere Love or the other. He's a talisman for our team here. Last year, I think he had 20-plus 20, 20 goal contributions. So, like, I think it was, like, 12 assists uh 10 goals so he's definitely the key player for our team and our dp and our captain so nice. regardless i had to get him in the squad so that's why ryan gold's here and it's actually not a bad card for a base you know common goal do you think he'll touch the pitch um i have to get him in i have nice. to get him in you know just out of respect for for the white caps and for you know for my guy ryan gold nice no the bench is the bench is solid um I like the Rooney choice. The Drogba choice was decent. Um, who do you think your main subs are going to be then? Um, I'm thinking Drogba in for Henri. Okay. Um, I'm thinking Laquinas in for Morris. Okay. And then um, that's if I want to change the MLS players because I'm assuming they have less stamina than everyone else. So we're going to have to change them. And then um, Ashley Cole can play both sides, a fullback. And then Rooney can come in um, 
you know, he can come in for Kaká even because I know he has that ability to play there. My only question mark here is Pirlo. I'm like, where is he going to go? Maybe he can come in for Raji, but Raji's not leaving the pitch. You know what I mean? Um, and you have to have four active MLS players. So I'm right. still kind of working on that. But happy about my coach. He gave me full 33 chem. Nice. Um, Patrick Koiver, obviously an ex-Barcelona player, uh, you know, Dutch legend. Uh, happy about him as my coach. Nice. No, I think your, your squad is super solid. It'll do you well this weekend. Um, but yeah, just so everyone knows, official squad requirements – Four active MLS players at all times. Either one hero or one icon of a player that is played in the league. They don't currently need to. Um, 11 players on the squad, obviously. Seven subs. And then it's 8 million budget. So he has spent quite a lot of time perfecting this team. But if you guys do want to see everyone else's squads, you could go to the FC Pro Draft page. And you could also make your own squad as well. So make sure you guys are making your own squads. Tag me and uh, 87 over here in your squads online. And we'd love to see them. <laughs> as we as we pull up this card. i can actually yeah. see everyone's rosters and their squads you can yeah i'll send you the link i'm so behind <laughs> <laughs> no worries no worries <laughs> yeah any anyone can submit a roster they have like an active page for all the leagues across the world la liga mls the fc pro events and so you can make your own team within the restrictions and then you get like your own cute little images and everything so it's pretty okay. cool cool um all right so love the squad but let's play some 2v2. I think we need to uh, get on the sticks and uh, actually start playing. You ready? Okay, I'm going to switch to my personal foot team, right? Yes, yes. Okay, switching over. Awesome. And then I will send over the invite for 2v2. We're going to play with my squad, guys. Um, he, I looked at his squad earlier, and his squad is actually pretty decent. Yeah. Um, but we are going to play with my squad for the time being. Just your squad is better. Just be honest. Your squad I, is I, I wasn't right? going to say it. I wasn't going to say it, but it's, it's a little bit know. better. <laughs> Full transparency here. But my squad isn't bad. No, your squad is really, really good. I wasn't sure what to expect, and I, I like it. I like it. You do have gold Messi. Should upgrade a TV to your Messi, but... <laughs> Can't get lucky. All right. I'm actually going to take out my evolution really quick because I've been working on that. Give us the best chance possible. And then we're going to put Kimmich back on as well. All right. Oh, and take out Mia Hamm because I'm not using Mia Hamm. I'm excited. I haven't played co-op in a while. That's how I started learning. I played co-op with my friends and then, you know, nice. we're doing like little tutorials while we're playing and like little tricks in there. And then I progressed to rivals and then champions. And then now I'm addicted. Nice. Co-op is interesting because you could be one of the best players in the world, but as soon as you get a partner to play with, it changes everything. And so you have to see how like the chemistry is with that person. So we'll get to see how it goes. My last one, we actually got a rage quit. So that's really? what we need to strive for okay. this time. Okay. Yep. That's the goal. That's the goal. But you yes. say that, but that's similar to real football too. You know, True. you can be the best player in the world, but if you're on a team that you don't click, you know, you don't like your teammates, you know, you don't like the coach, chemistry is low. You're not going to be at your best. True. Very, very true. Um, okay, so I sent over the invite whenever you get ultimate team loaded. Okay. Accepted. Perfect. And then should get you loaded in here shortly. Perfect. All right. So let's play in some Division 6 rivals. And then you said you're also in Division 6 too, right? That's it, right at the end. I went on a little heater last night, won five games in a okay. row. Okay. Or four All games right. in a row. Lost right before I got out of Division 6, but I'm nice. knocking at the door. Nice. All right. All right, here we go. Connection's decent. Not great. Yeah, actually, not that bad. It's not, it's not as bad as it's uh, oh, Yours is flying. Yeah, I normally get around 22 ping. Nice. Not too bad. So that matter during the tournament much? Like I should uh, make sure I got. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Okay. I mean, it'll it like takes both of your connections into account. Oh. Um, but the better your internet is, the overall better environment it'll be to play in for sure. Okay, let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. We're All right, we're blue? also we're playing four four two. Nice. Yeah, I'm blue. I'm gonna play with discipline. That's my thing. Discipline. Discipline. All right. Not diving in. 
a lot of back press. See, it's funny because I don't think I play very disciplined, so maybe I could learn a bit from you. There we go. Is this your favorite game? This is my favorite game. Um, but like favorite actual FIFA of all time is FIFA 17. FIFA 17. Yep. Back press, back press. Give me that. It's weird playing with no sound. <coughs> Uh -oh. oh, do you not hear your game audio? It's on my headset. Oh, uh, okay. It's okay, though. I gotta play in all conditions. Oh, no, I'll pass there. Nice. Good pass. Oh, that is not where I wanted that. That's all good. We keep possession. There we go. Extra pass. Boom. Oh. oh. All right. You know okay. what? We're moving the ball well. Not bad. Yeah, this is not bad. We got not this. Not bad at all. Do you like short corners? Um, you... Yeah. Do you want to come short? Yeah, I'll come short. I feel like that's a bit easier. Dino. Okay. Ooh, no, okay. Did. Oh, it looks good. Never played Dino yet. He's the card I want the most. I, I'll be honest, like, I he's my favorite player of all time. And so, like, for nostalgia reasons, I do love him. But, like, I don't know what it is with his, maybe his body type or what. But, no. uh, all right, I'll go. No. Okay. We'll come back. We'll come back. He's a dribbler, though, right? So He I, is, but I don't know. He feels clunky to me. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Might be user error. I don't know. <laughs> Has there been other athletes like play in this? Yes. Um, so I my first show I had, I had Georgia Mihalovic, um, played for Chicago Fire, yeah. just recently played for AZ. Um, but he's he's super he's decent. With Colorado now, right? Yeah, yeah. So he just he just signed for Colorado, they're which is super exciting. That. Yeah, it's, I think I think that that one's cool because they didn't have like a big name, and so bringing in someone like him will be good. He's a good um, but yeah, he's he's super good at FIFA FC as well, so he's a great guess. Um, and we have some more footballers in the works. Woo! Woo! Oh. Nice step over. We tried, we tried. Yeah, my thing with FIFA growing up was like, I play soccer all day. I train every day, I have games on the weekend. I'm not gonna go home and play soccer video games too, you know? It's like over yeah. here. So that's why I wasn't like a hardcore FIFA player or a okay. player. Um, but I still appreciate the game. So then you game outside of FIFA though, right? Like you've played COD a bit and all that? Oh yeah. A lot of COD? A lot of COD. Nice. During the pandemic, that's when Boom. Oh, oh no. Dino, Dino, Dino. So, so I did. No, I should have. <laughs> so you play mostly COD, which makes sense because when your life is so revolving around football, that's like yeah. probably the opposite yeah. thing you could be doing. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Oh, no. Nice try, nice try. Tried to lift it up. Any other games besides Call of Duty? Um not really i played fortnite for a bit apex mostly first person shooters okay i went through a phase where i was playing destiny a lot i'm not sure if you heard that game heard of um it? yes that was big for like a year like everyone was playing that i feel like yeah it was very grindy though like you have to play hours and hours that's like open world right um 
I don't know like, what you call that type of game. It's like co-op type, but oh shit. Go on, Schmeichel. This is another thing. I don't get how streamers are playing, reading the chat, like eating, doing all that stuff, and still like going 300 and no, like, huh? Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. It takes a lot of getting used to. Um, but if I'm like in a any type of com uh, competitive environment, I am turning off the chat and not paying attention to it because like what? I've competed in like Twitch rivals and stuff like that. And if I had any other focus on anything else, I'm not playing into my greatest ability. So, but like also, I'm also just a casual, so it's fine to have only so much focus, you know? Yeah, true. But yeah, pros, they can't be doing all that. Although, like, there are pros, like George Damu, who he's playing competitively and he is also reading his chat at all times. So, I think also the better you are at the game, the easier it is to. True separate your focuses i'm just always locked when i play my friends i'm just like i don't even i turn off the mic i'm just like locked in yeah <laughs> they're trying to talk to me i'm like no not till the not till the end of the <laughs> match up and win Ooh. it's not a terrible first half it's not there's room for improvement for sure but i feel like we've had a couple chances yeah all right <laughs> Not mad at it. Not mad at it. Plus, we got a whole other game after this to uh, get the dub. But, and it's our first time ever playing with each other, so it's only up from here. I thought you were Chai FC. I'm like, wait a minute, but you're Cheeks FC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Cheeks FC. I always say I'm Cheeks at the game. So. <laughs> Both names work for you though. Yes. So you're playing weekend league every weekend, and why do they call it weekend league? Is it because there's time? Um, I mean, because you always played on the weekend, and it's only a certain amount of games, so oh. I guess that's why. I mean, it's also called ultimate team, like foot champs, not foot champs anymore because of the F. But um, yeah, I don't know. We all all just call it that. Mm. But yeah, 20 games plus playoffs, which is the 10 games before that. Yeah. I play that way more than I play rivals. Mainly just because of rewards, to be honest. Ooh, what a ball. Get it out. Oh, that skipped me. All right, let's go. Oh, I tried to skill. We tried to skill. Sam Kerr is one of the best players in the game, by the way. She's so good. I've heard. Makes sense. She's a baller in real life too. She is. She played for uh, my local, actually, the Red Stars, before she went to Chelsea. So I got to see her play a couple times IRL, which is nice. Great. Woo! Please. Yes! Woo! There we go. Come on. <laughs> I gotta think how I'm gonna celebrate on stream when I score my first goal. That's a that's gonna be a big moment for me in my career. For sure. I mean, you have to celebrate in game, and you have to celebrate IRL. So you have to. That's the one thing I don't. Do. I don't really celebrate in game. I don't know like all the custom celebrations. But I think you could choose. You can you can go into the settings and choose which one you want ahead of time. Oh really? I thought you had to like punch a code in or something. No. So there's you could set one up ahead of time. Oh, you moved the keeper. Um, you could set one up ahead of time. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, but if you just press X or circle, I don't know which one it is, um, but it automatically inputs it. Oh, that's a ball. That is a ball. Ooh, come yeah. on. Nice. Yeah, I envision doing like laps around the whole dressing room when I score, like <laughs> controller down. I may get, I may get scored on while I'm celebrating. That's how happy I'm going to be. Come <laughs> on. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'm taking, I'm taking this serious. <laughs> Did you play soccer um, growing up? Um, so growing up, my sport was actually Taekwondo. So a li little bit different type of kicking. So I have like four black belts. But yeah. um, starting in college, I played just like co-ed um, just for funs. But um, oof. 
please. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Hey, we're cooking now. Ooh, Penrav. Nice. All right, it's all you. Come on. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, Go on. Go on. You're, you're you're ready for evil eyes, honestly. Ready, huh? <laughs> The confidence I needed. <laughs> Let's go. I got the basics. You do. I mean, you know what you're doing for sure. Oh, Ooh. No. Ooh. Ooh. There's a flash in there, right? Oh my. Yeah, I think. So. Oh. Nope. Nope. I blame Mbappe. <laughs> I blame the best striker in the world. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's your second sport? If you obviously you said you did type oh I'm nah, that's just good thing. Um, so I ran track and cross country as well, which I think you did short distance running too, right? Did a lot of that, yeah. I never really loved it though. I just did okay. it because it you're was, good at it. Yeah, I was good at it. Yeah. But um, as a youth, as a young kid, I never lost the race. Like uh, going really? back to sixth grade, um, long distance, like cross country, I won 100, 200, 400, uh, 800, uh, long jump, high jump. <laughs> I was. Uh, you did it. You actually did it all. <laughs> yeah, I, I I did everything all the way up till tenth grade when I then that's when I had to quit all sports. Okay. But yeah, track was definitely could have been a second career. Nice. There's actually one point when I was playing in Turkey when I wasn't getting paid. Boom. Oh, how oh you know? that should have been a goal. <laughs> that was finesse too. Um, when I ran into some problems, the club wasn't paying, and I was like 25 at the time, and I was considering should I just quit soccer now and just try to make it to the Olympics? <laughs> <laughs> I was do you think do you think that would have been possible? I, I mean, I don't know. I would have tried. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I was fast. I'm a very fast player. Nice. Yeah. That's actually really cool. Though. I also feel like that's a translatable sport with soccer and running in general, just because you're already running so much in soccer. So you probably could have made it happen. I mean, it would have been an interesting story of shit. Yeah. Davies is nice in this game. Ooh. What? Wait, did that switch it to me? Yeah, that was weird. That was weird. I like pass it to myself. All right, let's try this again. Oh what? Oh, that's class. Yeah, man. Hey, this guy's getting beat down. Yup. Oh, are they gonna quit? Get out of here. Go on, get. It. I don't know if they'll quit in the 83rd minute. They think they'll make some type of changes that'll make a difference. No chance. <laughs> no chance. This is good. This is good going into the tournament. There we go. Feeling... I'm actually so excited to play 1v1 though. I feel like, <laughs> I also feel like you are underestimating your abilities. I think our game will be close. Yeah, I'm just measuring up with my friends so far, so I don't know. And what I've seen on like Twitch and stuff. Was yeah. I do have to be sturdy defensive. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. All good, all good. Not bad. Not bad. No. Okay, okay. They actually are making every sing single shot that they're taking, though. That's true. Good finishing. Like, they're not missing. <laughs> We're getting made fun of right now for our 4-4-2, but... Really? It's not yeah. a formation? No, I will say 4 3 2, one is the main formation for at least pro gameplay, but... I mean, IRL, I like a 4 4 2, two. So. Ooh. Ooh, shoot. I just send it to Dino. Game over! All right, there we go. And that's a dub. That is a dub.
beautiful. Let's go. <laughs> Love that. All right. So let's see if we can get two dubs in the stream, and then we will go 1v1. Okay. I swear everyone switched off of 442 two weeks in. Yeah. I don't know. I still like it. It feels balanced for me, but I get it. I do get it. All right. Um, nice. Can you go back into the co-op lobby? Yep. Oh, I might need to put a contract on Ronaldinho as well, but... Could get the dip five. <laughs> we Ooh, could. Win two. Are you on a times two? Um, no, I'm not. Oh, okay. No. There we go. Nice. The midfield gets overrun too easy in 4-4-2 for me. Interesting. I think it also depends on your uh, specific tactics, too. Yeah, that's why I switched I switched formations to have three in the midfield to be more mm. defensive because usually I play with, like, a 4-2-4 four, four with, like, the high, you know, wingers. Yep. Um, But I felt like I, I'd be way too exposed in this tournament. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, defending's going to be key, especially because you're mixing MLS cards, which are a little bit lower rated with, like, a Virgil van Dyke, and then you have – people like Henri attacking you as well so yeah it'll be interesting it's it's always i i love watching emls it's one of my favorite competitions to watch every year um but competition is going to be intense for sure if you were building a team what player would be like no question you need to have him in there or her um i'll be honest i think this year you need to have holland oh, uh it's so just yeah, it's just, it just because he's so overpowered um, with the ball in the air. Like, he, he, you can't really defend against him. You won't be able to afford Team of the Year, um, but you could probably get his Dynasty version in. Um, still really expensive, but I, I don't know. I just think it's really necessary this year. Um, either him or Mbappe, it obviously very much changes your game. But if you could try to fit in both, that's kind of important. Do you cross much? I mean, this year, you should more to players like Mbappe or like that uh, striker version of Courtois. I don't know. It's just, it's like broken, to be honest. I've seen that sometimes, but I don't like crossing. Yeah. I don't either, to be honest. I, I like playing like actual Tiki Taka, a lot, a lot of passes. I don't even use that many skills. I, I have like three offside. skills that I use regularly. Offside. No offside? Nice. Do you have a favorite skill move? Step overs, but I hardly use it. <laughs> okay. I use it when I have, like, space and it doesn't really matter. Go to the other side. I like Dino, though. But he does feel clunky. I, I, he I, does, I, right? Like, I feel yeah, like he shouldn't be, but he is. The guy used to move, like, water. Not yeah. Not water in here. Oh! Close, close, close. Weak foot. Is he a five-star weak foot? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. No excuse, then. What would be the one tip you have for me going into this tournament? Um, Take one game at a time, because you play so many games, especially the first day, uh. that, like, it can be difficult because you might lose a game and then it, like, messes with your head. But, like, it's just one game at a time. Don't be thinking about the next one, even if you know that person's a sweat. Like, it's literally just one at a time and, like, half by half. Plus, like, the halves are long, too, so, like, you got to keep your head in the game for a very, very long time, you know? It's nine minute halves, right? Yeah, it's long. It's super, super long, especially compared to like a weekend league or rivals game. Like you really do notice it. What if I take like 20? What if I take 20 goals in 18 minutes? I feel like that's possible in this league. Oh. Um, I mean, I if cry. that happens, just like have fun with it, you know? <laughs> I will cry. Nah, like, I mean. Get me out of here. It's a good experience no matter what. So I think I think you'll have fun. It'll, it'll be good for content. It'll be great for content. I'm excited that you get to play in the locker room. I think that's different than a lot of other clubs too. Yeah, so I'm trying to do like do some different stuff and also bring like have some different conversations because I feel like gaming is huge for mental health, you know? Yeah. Um, I just think back when I was younger, going through problems, you know, like whether it was school, you know, life, anything, just getting on a console and playing a video game was so therapeutic almost. Ooh. Ooh. 
close. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, it definitely gives you a chance to, like, separate yourself from everything that's going on in the world and have a bit of fun. Yes. Although sometimes I do think that this game makes me rage more than <laughs> yeah, <else>, But <laughs> um, no, we all have fun at the end of the day. <laughs> Have you ever broken a controller? Uh, a couple. What? Oh yeah. I, I don't I don't think you understand. Like some sometimes this game, it's like Oh, it makes it makes me insane. Um oh yeah, only only a couple. Only a couple. <laughs> yeah, only only a couple. <laughs> One time I threw my controller into my kitchen. <laughs> yeah, that was not my brightest moment, but I rage a bit less now. Now, now I kind of just like. Just take it on the chin, type thing. Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of roll my eyes. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. It's pixels at the end of the day. Little virtual guys. Say this guy's pretty disciplined too. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Do you use the uh, drag much? See a lot what? of people, like when you kind of drag the ball, like how? Um, Like a ball roll? Yeah. Um, Sometimes. Normally if I'm just like one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, that's the only time I'll do it. Um, But I will say that that like elevates your game a lot. Yeah, I see everyone use just like, just to unmark a bit, unbalance a bit. Yeah. So the, I'm trying to incorporate that, but. When times are stressed, yeah. just one shot in a goal. Yeah, every time, goal. every time. They don't miss. I'm telling you, they don't miss. The post. Yes, Dino. Go on, Dino. Record is at stake here. It really is. The silver's out. Ah, should have came backwards. Oh, they play so boring. This is <laughs> this is one of my biggest pet peeves. But it's smart. It's super smart. It like wears your opponent down. Yeah. That's it's just hard. so boring. <laughs> I've been trying to be more patient in recent days. Oh no. Cause look, it's not a rush, you know, it's 90 minutes. You know, when you start rushing and stuff, you can get loose. So I'm trying to be like more patient in my game too, like build up and like wait for the That's right movement in. I don't know what to do. Oh, try to skill. Okay. All right. I mean, we started like this last time, and it ended well, so we got this. Um, we got a question in the chat. Uh, they're saying, "Where would you rank yourself among the players participating in MLS?" <laughs> Why you gotta ask that? <laughs> Why you gotta ask that one question? <laughs> Don't worry about the power rankings. <laughs> power rankings don't mean nothing until the tournament starts. But I rank <laughs> somewhere near the, 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 the bottom half. The bottom half, let's say. I mean, you're not bad. You're you're actually not bad, so we got we got a dub in our first game, so that must mean something. Yes. <laughs> Balloons just came on the screen. They did just go on the screen. Did you see that on yours? No, I didn't see. Yeah, you had balloons on your webcam. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's a celebration now. <laughs> Where did they come from? I have no idea. That's weird. The chat, the chat saw it too. Sorry, chat. It's a, it's a late celebration of our first win. Yeah. Oh shit! Now that wasn't disciplined. You don't have to swear in this tournament. Like, am I gonna get banned for swearing? Like. Um, I think you could do it a little bit as long as you don't. Okay. 
take it too far, you know? I'm not a big swear, but still, you never know. Sometimes the game, the game be doing that to you. <laughs> oh, I was looking for shit. No, there will, there will definitely be other players that swear too, so don't worry about that. But I do think your mic is on, so that's something to keep in mind. <laughs> mic. Yep. Funny story. My first. Okay, context. I was okay. uh, commentating at Qatar. Was that a penalty? Is it a penalty? Uh... Is it a penalty? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Kind of slid late. Yep. 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 Oh, this is you, this is you. Come on. Why did I slide? Yeah! Oh, 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 I thought you had it. <laughs> Devastating. All right, we got this. Yeah, I hot believe. life story. I was commentating at the World Cup in Qatar and was a rookie to the whole thing. Um... And first day, I just start talking once, you know, once the camera wasn't on me. And they, everyone, the producers, everyone's like, hot mic, hot mic. I'm like, what does that mean? What does that mean? So I was in the background talking like nonsense. And PSG went today. Oh, no. Lesson learned. Hard lesson learned. That's funny, though. That is that is very funny. And I think I was talking about like, how much I hate American football at the time. Oh, oh no. I mean, that's valid. That's valid anyway, so. <laughs> And it probably resonates with the uh, with the rest of the audience, so it's. Yeah, it was definitely resonated with them. Could they not mute you on their end? They do. They do some. Oh, okay. But only when somebody starts talking. Nonsense. Oh, okay, okay. So, like they heard the first few words and then. Okay. Here. Run, Mbappe! Oh. You're like the fastest human in the game. Run. See, like that stuff. He should have paced them there. He should have. But he was going up against Virgil van Dijk, so that is tough. No. Intimidating guy. He is. Oh, no. Should have canceled that. Nice. Ah, yeah. All right. All right. 60 second minute. We need a goal. We need a goal now. We need a goal like 20 minutes ago. Who's that? Oh, oh, ah, no. Okay. Ooh, Celeste, Celeste, Celeste. Yeah, still there. Oh, no. whoa. That was a late call. Okay, I gotta tighten up. Tighten up. Who's your favorite player? Both men's and women. Um, IRL or in FIFA? IRL. Um, current player for men's side is Kevin De Bruyne. As a City yeah. fan, I also just think he's the best midfielder in the world. Um, and then women's side is tough. I feel like I go through different phases. Um, big fan of Sophia Smith, Trinity Rodman. Absolutely love her. He's cool. Sam Kerr. Oh, no. Um, like Rose Lavelle. Yeah, on the women's side, it's, 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 a, it's a tough one for me because I just love so many of the players. But Kevin takes, uh, takes it for the men. Yeah, he's a good player. No, no, no. Giving up possession way too much. Nice. Whew. All right, let's go. Oh, Dino, I swear. Oh. I don't know how I got the ball back. On Kimmich, he's very, very good. He's also an SBC that you could get too. So. I heard he's decent. Go! Oh, nice. I was like, I was like, do I have an opening for Mbappe? <laughs> uh, I'll go short. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> this game. My thumb is tattered, by the way. 
I can't imagine what it's going to be like after this weekend. It's like, how long is it really? Like, it's going to be like eight hours, six hours? Yeah. No, it's, I think it's like seven or seven hours around that. Ooh. At least for, at least for Friday. Oh, I thought that was long days. It's super long days. Because I think that you have a break in between some of them. Um, like a dinner break sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a lot of games in a row. I'm not going to lie. Who's a player I should look out for? At least just... Um, I mean, like, reigning champ is Rasik. He plays for St. Louis. Very, very good. Paulo Neto, another one. He easily could have won EMLS um, last year. He's very, very good. Um, there's a lot of new international players coming in as well that are bringing in some cool. different skill sets from all over the world, yeah. which, is, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be honest. It, it's an interesting league because I feel like the skill set from the top to the bottom ranges a decent amount. Okay. Um, but like, also, you should never underestimate some of the people that you might consider some of the lower half players because a lot of the times it's interesting because when a player comes in and maybe they aren't as skilled, they play different. And so that causes you to play a little bit different too, because you're expecting like the meta. Oh, so this is so boring. What are you doing? This guy's serious so right now. He's up. Nah, to man. Like, this is the stuff will have me breaking my controller. <laughs> Nobody does this in the pros, right? Or do they? I mean, they do definitely pass the ball around the back, but <laughs> but nah, this is actually so boring. I I, I can't. Look at this. <sighs> And the winner of this tournament gets what? I know it's uh, there's. Um, the yeah, end. so the format of this one, so you play all the games on Friday, and then there's a group stage on Saturday, and then I believe it's the top 12 that get to the broadcast, and so there's money in the broadcast on Sunday, cool. and then that'll affect seeding into EMLS Cup in Austin. So how you do in these, all the first league series and second league series will all culminate into the seeding into the next one. And there's only a few spots that are automatically qualified for EMLS Cup, and then everyone else competes in like a last chance type of bracket to be on the last broadcast. And so there's different opportunities. So even if like this League Series 1 doesn't go that well for you, you have League Series 2 to like redeem yourself. Okay. And the winner of the t entire tournament goes to a bigger tournament, right? The top two get spots into the uh, World Championships for FC Pro, yeah. Okay. So like... In comparison to like regular leagues like league one league two where would this tournament rank in terms of global like the players in this tournament um uh, if that makes I, sense, uh, yeah so i think that emls is one of the best leagues in the world by far like you have some of the big leagues it's emls it's e premier league i think that league one does really well mm -hmm. um and so all of those leagues you get spots for the world championships and then there's also lower leagues too so like the Ireland League, Australia, like they all get play in spots. But I, I'll be, and I'm not, I'm quite biased because I've been working with EMLS for a while, but they really do run the league really, really well. And especially this year, they have better players than they ever had in the past. So it's pretty good. Nice. Um, okay, so are you ready to play 1v1? Yeah, I'm switching over to my team. My all right. Team. Let's do it. Perfect. It's over. All right. I will send the invite. <laughs> Lamps disagrees with what? What is Lamps disagreeing? That is the one is the one of the best leagues in the world. I think it's true. Disagrees? I think it's true. Lamps is one of the players, right? He is, yeah. So is Diogo. Okay. Let's yep. see what's going on in the chat. Right? We have Minnesota and Austin FC. Diogo's one of the new players this year. Um, all right. Shout out to Cameron. He's been all active in the chat. Yes. <laughs> he said Ricketts is the goat. There we go. Oh, thanks, bro. All right. Um, sending you an invite here. Cool. All right. Should we do a, a prediction in the chat? Who's going to win? Who will win? So they can. So on Twitch, you could bet channel points, and that's like points that you accumulate over time watching a streamer. So they'll bet their, their, like, imaginary points on who will win. Jabetso, this is a big one. All right, there we go, guys. My, my first international friendly. <laughs> All right. Um, 
sending the invite here. All right, officially sent. Okay. Remember, I'm going to a tournament this weekend. Right, 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 right. We want, we want you to have confidence going in. I need confidence. <laughs> Um, all right, I will go white kits. Yeah, Can you get your Vancouver kits? We're Hellas Blues. We got a new blue kit this year. It's incredible. incredible. Nice. Yeah, one of the nice it... jerseys I've, I've seen. Has it been announced? No, it's announced. It's getting announced. Well, EA kind of leaked it, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. It was like 17 clubs that, was like that uh, were all in we're, the game. We're working so hard to, like, announce it in the right way. This is the formation I play normally nice um yeah we were working so hard to like do like a nice announcement and stuff and then we the game leaks it it's like what yeah what i don't think i don't think chicago fire was in that so it was only a certain amount of clubs but i saw that and i was like oh that is that is not good yeah it was not good keep running oh referee Ooh. This is where I need a discipline. Do you have Dino on your regular team too? Oh yeah, we yeah. Can it. How'd you get him? I packed him. Yeah, I got him in an icon player pick. Wow, that's incredible. I've had decent pack luck this year to be fair. I packed ninety two Mbappe, I got Ronaldinho, I got Ginola, which I actually don't even use anymore. That's one of my biggest things. I over tackle so much. It's so bad. The discipline comes in. I know. I need to learn from you. My friends are telling me, don't defend with your center backs until it's last ditch. Yeah, yeah. Use your CDM. Okay, okay. Oh, shoot. Come on, Zidane. Who's your favorite Croatian player? You said you're Croatian, right? Um, yeah, I mean, it's probably Modric. Yeah. I know that's an easy answer, but I absolutely love him. I mean, they have so many ballers there. Kobe. They really do. Although they're getting older, so I yeah. am worried about them for, like, future World Cups. But Brozovic. Wow. Yep. Perisic. I mean, yeah. Mandzukic doesn't even play for them anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I covered them during the World Cup, so... Oh, my. That was close. So... They're always a dark horse. Like, everyone's always surprised that they make it to the stage that they do. And then I'm like, no, we need to believe in them from the start. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, they're good. And so much experience at the world. Yeah, hey, easier with those skill moves. <laughs> oh, what? Run, Harvey. Let's go! Come on! Okay, okay. What? Yeah, that's, I don't know how that was. Not that Three. Right. I know you have your biases, but... Oh, no. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Give me that. Give me that! No! No! Woo! Come on! Samantha! Put your foot in there! Oh, I'm gonna lose it during the tournament. I'm gonna lose it during the tournament. I just know it. Put your foot in there! Okay. Okay, then now they're just bullying. Okay, this is where I just gotta stay calm. No yes. two. You see, that's how it always happens. Okay, so be easy, huh? <laughs> be easy. Okay, okay, okay. This is the practice that you need, though, you know? Yeah, this is it. This is it. Oh, 
one, Schmeichel. You're gonna see that gives you left foot, so. Play out the back, it's nice. Come on, come on, Kapu. All right. No. Oh man. Offside. That was so ugly. It is a good game though, with all the little intricacies and like little things you can do. Oh yeah, you could you could really customize your gameplay so much. So many different styles. And it changes from year to year as well, like what works and what doesn't. So oh. it's it's constantly like a learning curve every single game, which is kind of fun. Kafu, come on. And that's a horrible, horrible pass. Space is there, guys. Space is there. Shit, didn't need to do that. You read that. That. Samantha, come on. Woo! <laughs> Why did you slide? <laughs> oh, that was horrible. What am, oh. I doing? what am I doing? Yeah, okay. Let's go the other way. Let's go the other way. Are you going to listen to gameplay audio when you play, or are you going to listen to music? I don't know. I don't know. I can't listen to music. I'll, I'll be gone. I mean, you, you, you could just like put headphones in. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. the gameplay. It's what I'm used to. But... Oh! Good half, good half. <laughs> you're, 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 you're one half into a game. How, how are we going to do this on, uh... <laughs> I don't know. I'm already <laughs> what are we going to do? I'm going to be passed out by the end of it. <laughs> Are you an energy drinks type of person? No. Okay. I mean, I'm going to need one probably. Maybe, yeah. Uh, some Red Bulls. Or at least like a coffee. Espresso. We got an espresso or two. Yep. But, I don't know. I have so many questions. What if, what if you have to go to the bathroom during the game? What happens? 18 minutes is a long time. I mean, you could probably run during halftime. Make it quick. <laughs> Jeez, man. It's all new. Oh, no. Yes, Laurie! Devastating scene. Absolutely <laughs> devastating. <laughs> That's not how we drew it up. <laughs> I wasn't going to let that be the dagger. Come on, guys. You got to move up there. I don't see anyone. Ooh. Okay. Broke my ankles there a bit. Oh, no. That wasn't even me. That was AI. I know, that's why I was trying to attack him! <laughs> Not where I wanted to pass to. Oh. That's Rodri. <laughs> okay, Come on. good. Reset, 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 recycle, let's go. I'm excited for the team of the year, Raji, though. Yeah, he's, he's very, very good. Yeah, it's got to be fun to be able to use items that you maybe don't have on your regular ultimate team. Yeah. Oh, come on. That's a goal. That is a goal. That is a goal. <sighs> Someone said, can you do a Magidi cancel drag back fake? That's, that's, that sounds like a lot. <laughs> never, never even heard of it. <laughs> it's not even necessary. It's too much anyway. Alright, why am I? Is everyone coming to Lucio? 
You think skills are essential? Uh, some are, I think. Yeah, like just like but you're awesome. Nothing. I don't think you need crazy skills, but I think a little bit. It adds some like variety into your gameplay. Keeps you unpredictable. Yeah, the thing is, like, they're not hard to do. No, I like. Uh, three zero. <laughs> Got a scored goal. Come on. <laughs> three. Is we need to see what the celebration is gonna be like. We need a sneak peek. <laughs> Gotta get a goal. No, what is that? What is that? Come on, Henri. Come on, Henri. I actually didn't mean to do that. Okay, but they blocked the ball, but you can win it after two. Yes. <gasps> Loris. He's new to MLS as well. He is. That's an interesting one. It is an interesting one. I it was an un like unexpected, but I don't I don't hate it. No, he's obviously has the pedigree. What do you think about Suarez? Do you think he's gonna do well? Um Yeah, I think. Come on, Zidane! What are you doing in there? Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I think Suarez will do good. Although Miami hasn't been great this preseason, but they've been playing like different competition. And, and Messi hasn't really been playing though, right? Or has he? Really? I mean, I think he played a little bit. What? <laughs> like a lot? Little, I think little... I think you need a bit more power on those. How long are you holding the shoot button? <laughs> Not much. My... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Need a bit more okay. on that. Something about like offside. I didn't see it. VR. The ref is not on your side today. I have to say. No, he's never been on my side. Never. <laughs> Even when you played IRL. Even when I played. <laughs> I think I've had like as a player. I think I had seven VR goals called back. Really? Yeah. Oh man, that would make me so mad. I know. And I think I finished with like 93 career goals, so that would have got me to 100. <laughs> no. See, I don't know if I could have retired at like 93. <laughs> I would have had to have keep playing. <laughs> Just to 100? I refuse to quit until we get to 100. See, that's not where I wanted that, but that's fine. Yeah, because my guys don't win second balls. Yes, Luis, you are. Well, he's good. I actually, he keeps me in a lot of games. <laughs> oh, no. Could have been a goal. Goodness. I've had three solid chances. <laughs> Do you ever use any type of other type of shooting, like power shot, Travella? Finesse? Um, I use finesse. Okay. Here and there. Like maybe. But like, no, nah, it's more basic. I don't do time finishing or anything like that. Yeah, neither do I. It's too much to be honest. <laughs> Honestly, though, Schmeichel MVP. You're just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! You're getting those opportunities. They're bound to Getting chances, eventually. which is a good sign. Yes. Why not? Give it a go. Even get through. I have no idea. Oh my goodness. I can feel the weekend league experience though. I can definitely feel it. You get 
Okay, you're going to have to uh, start competing like us every weekend. Yeah. You're busy, though, so it's got to be hard, especially, like, working in the front office and doing all that. That's a bit of a balance. Do you normally bring your console with you when you are on the road doing stuff? Um, 3-0? <laughs> I mean, I, I used that. to a lot until, like, I have the first, I guess it's the first generation PlayStation, so it's, like... Yeah. It's bulky. So yeah. I think I'm going to get the newer one and Nice. Yeah, I do travel with it sometimes. Nice. Well, GG's. I'm uh, sorry about that one. But honestly, it could have been 3-3 because you had so many chances that should have gone in. Just saying. I have to go back to the <laughs> But I had my chances, which I'm happy about. And I didn't yeah. get murdered. There we go. I mean, honestly, I think I think you'll be all right this weekend. Um, there'll, there'll be a couple games that maybe are are tough, but... I think I think you'll have have some good ones because you definitely you know how to play for sure, um, and we were we were good two v two I will say that yeah we had some chemistry there it was good decent decent it was amazing second yeah. game yeah um okay guys so I have a couple questions for him from the community we have had questions coming in from Instagram and Twitter and so if you guys have questions you want to put them in the chat we could read them aloud but I will also go through these so let me get us back to our guest camera here. Awesome. All right, that there we fun. go. That was super fun. Thank you for playing me. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, okay. All right. First community question. Are you ready? Let's go. All right. So will you ever come back to Toronto FC or the Canadians men's national team? Good question. Um, Toronto FC, maybe. I wouldn't close the door to them. Uh, don't know what role that would be in, obviously, because I work in the front office now, but I'm definitely – happy where I am here in Vancouver and, and love my current situation, but do have that those deep ties with Toronto as well. So I don't know. And I'm also still working in a different capacity for the national team. I'm the players rep. Um, so when it comes to like governance, bylaws, changing the game across Canada from the grassroots up, I'm involved in those conversations, part of the members council. Um, keeping the board members of Canada soccer accountable and, and, you know, doing the right things for the game. So I'm still heavily involved in the national team. Of course, it's my country. But yeah, Toronto FC, never know. But I'm definitely a white cap for now. Nice, nice. Uh, next question. How many points slash wins are you hoping for in League Series 1? Like, what's the goal? <laughs> the goal is at least a win. Okay. I'm going to try to beat one person. Because remember, right. it's three here. So if I score a goal, it's going to be the first goal in history. If I get an assist, it'll be yep. the first assist in history. If I lose a game, it'll be the first loss. But if I win, if I happen to win a game, it'll be the first win in history. So I'm going for all those firsts. Yeah, love that. I love that. I hope I hope you get even more than one win. <laughs> um, are you the type to say GG after a game, even if it doesn't go well? Yeah. Yeah, I'm the type to say GGs, you know. For me, as a footballer, character was like, you know, I had to be always at the top, regardless, win or lose. So I'm going to maintain my character throughout this tournament. I will say GG's. I will say congratulate the winner. But I, I may not be happy. All the yeah, time. on the inside, you'll be fuming. On the outside, you'll, you'll be calm, cool, and collected. <laughs> I respect that. Um, who is the first person that comes to mind when you hear the word FIFA Pro slash FC Pro? Do you know of any um, in the scene besides? Uh, um, I mean, even in you're, you're the first one that comes to mind now. You. <laughs> I appreciate it. Appreciate <laughs> you're the it. first one that comes to mind. No, I'm not familiar with this space because, like, when I was on Twitch watching, I was always watching uh, Call of Duty streamers like Swag and those Face Clan guys. So um, I was more like watching them on my pastime. But okay. uh, definitely happy to and excited to meet everyone from the space and meet all the gamers because you know they're all. They're all talented guys. Nice. I know you did mention that you've watched a little bit of George Damu, so yeah, I did. In the future, but, he he could be your go-to. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. I jumped in his chat and I just said, "Bro, please just skip round four of LS1. You know, if you just happen to call in sick or you know you just have to go do something else, skip that round." And I <laughs> play him. 
And he replied instantly and was like, Ricketts, first goal win. So it was funny. It was funny. Nice, um, nice. Imagine it was golden goal. I feel like that would change everything. <laughs> I mean, I think that gives me a better chance. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> so I was like, when he said that, I'm like, bet, let's go. First goal. Nice. <laughs> At least I'll only lose one nothing. Yep, yep. Um, oh, this is a good question. So do you get nervous before, or actually, past tense, did you get nervous before your games in your IRL football career slash now do you think you're gonna get more nervous or less nervous playing like the gaming side um yeah i got nervous irl real life uh playing football before the games but i was more nervous the night before i was more nervous like at breakfast and like leading up but as soon as the team meeting happens before the game headphones go on bus ride to the stadium or whatever the routine is um all nerves gone and then as soon as the whistle blows it's like nobody else is in the stadium blinders on just results 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 so yeah i think if you don't get nervous you're kind of falling out of love a little bit but um the nerves keeps you honest so do you think you'll be equally as nervous uh when you're going into these games i am terrified right now my stomach is (laughs) making little sounds and stuff i'm thinking like can't lose my double digits but gotta score gotta make my city proud gotta represent the team i'm more nervous now trust me yeah (laughs) it's kind of cool though because since you're playing in the locker room you kind of get that vibe where like you're going to the venue of you're actually playing a game like you're probably gonna feel similar to when you were going to an actual game like you even show up with your headphones like the walk-in situation it's cool that you get that entire experience but for the gaming side too and remember my coach is not only a fifa connoisseur or ea connoisseur um he's also the content creator for our team so he takes all the videos of the guys and they're training he cuts the videos he edits them for our socials and everything so we're gonna arrive in style you know we're gonna be doing some things on the outskirts to kind of excite the space and stuff but it's all it's all fun it's gonna be exciting um so where is all this content gonna live is it gonna all live on vancouver's channels are you gonna be posting anything like where can people expect to see everything happening this weekend um, majority will be on my socials, but there will be the, obviously the collaborations through Whitecaps, um, EMLS, of course, um, uh, MLS, hopefully, uh, they'll repost some stuff, but we're trying to create some, some good content that can live on, on all channels. Nice. And then where are all of your games going to be streamed Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Streamed on Twitch. Um, I think my Twitch name is BWFC Gamer, uh, but we'll have to confirm that after. Um, so the whole tournament will be streamed on Twitch. First time. Nice. First time. And I, and I think that everyone who qualifies for Sunday, I think that'll be on the e, the MLS, MLS Twitch channel as well. So uh, make sure you guys are following him on all of those because he'll be pushing everything out ahead of time because I know that now they're going to be massive fans of you and they'll be rooting for you in your chat. Yeah, trying to convert some gamers into White Caps fans. There we go. That's the goal at the end of the day. I know that I, I will say – there were multiple people in the chat here early being like, I love him. Finally, you get a guest from Canada. We there love Vancouver. And so you have you have a little bit of a fan group in uh, in in my stream, which is cool. <laughs> oh, one other thing. I'm going to be doing a ton of giveaways, like as much as possible. That was my one, like my one stipulation coming in. I said, if I'm going to be doing this, we got to be giving away stuff like every week, you know? So we're going to be giving away jerseys. We're going to try to give away a PlayStation, maybe, maybe some merch um from white caps and controller just random things to to just um give away to the space and the viewers and all everyone in the ecosystem really nice and then so what is your username on twitter then so that everyone can hit uh you? every platform at to saint ricketts um yeah all at- right perfect you guys heard it here first so many giveaways so especially people that are white caps fans slash if you guys don't have an mls team now you do <laughs> So he's going to have a bunch of giveaways for you guys. But, <laughs> excuse me. Um, all right. So that is pretty much it for all of our segments here. But um, is there anything else that you would like to let everyone else know? Anything leading into this weekend that uh, is uh, ready to say? No. I mean, thank you. Um, you know, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be in this tournament. Happy to be representing, you know, the ex-MLS players, ex-professional soccer players. Um but more happy to just engage, you know, see what people are about, see what the space is about, help bring, you know, more attention to it, you know, maybe expand it a little bit, like the tournament we're talking about, which is still a good idea. Maybe we can collaborate on that. I love it. I love it. (laughs) Collab on that. Um, But yeah, I'm here to have fun 
and you know create some good content awesome well i wish you the best of luck in emls i know that it is going to go great and guys make sure you follow him and vancouver on all the platforms because they're going to yeah. be posting some good content giveaways all of that and in general guys make sure you're tuning into emls cup and uh league series one and league series two league series one is happening this weekend all online follow all of your favorite gamers whether it's uh well, Chicago Fire are not in it right now, but whether it's Vancouver or Georgia Damu or like all of those type of people, make sure you're tuning in to all of those individual streams because they are be they will be kicking off on Friday. And so we have like seven hours of intense gameplay to be watching, but I'm sure they'll be excited to see I forgot to show this when we were talking about it. Oh, is that the ring? Yeah, here's the championship ring. If you can see there, I'm not sure how that you That is cool. Doing. So 2017 Toronto FC champions. That is what an MLS where the 87 ring looks comes like. from. That's that's very very cool. So <laughs> where do you keep that in your house? Like on a pedestal or like with a shining light on it? Like <laughs> normally it's in the safety deposit box. That's where it lives. But um, I brought it out for a camp to show some kids. Um, but yeah, lives in the safety deposit box. But got like a custom case here with the record oh, cool. on it with a little light that turns on. So yeah, nice. Nice. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for playing me and the 2v2. And um, guys, that is it. Make sure you guys hit him with a follow. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys.